hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today i will show you how we can create a explosion effect in 3d game uh, when our object like you collide with any ob uh, object like player or uh, our floor so i have created a unity 3d project mm, simply i am create a simple and that is for used as a floor in unity and name it floor now we should have to move it so uh, we can look it like perfect uh, <clears throat> And I should scale it a little bit like 10. 10. Like that should scale it a little bit more this is a simple uh, 3d plan that I am used for our object now uh, I should use box collider and check mark is trigger on it. The second thing uh, I am using for example is a cube uh, that is for our object. and I can move it there uh, we should have to give some material um, to cube so it looks perfect should have this material is perfect now give this material uh, and move it there should have to scale a little bit more so it look perfect now this is the uh, simple object we should set our camera so it look perfect like that so we can see it uh, now uh, give a scale to it so uh, we can see it now uh, simply uh, this is the simple scene uh, this is flow I am use this his name flow and this is the cube now we should let play uh, it looks perfect or not yes uh, and the second thing we are used in our cube is a rigid body so uh, it look like effect on uh, gravity scale now you see that it's perfect so uh, let's go to the uh, script that I have already created drag and drop this explorer script on our cube object and save it now I will show you the uh, script that I have created already 
and give you some detail of this script first i am uh, using a simple uh, load variable that is the uh, cube size and uh, the size is 0 0.2 the second thing is uh, cubes in rows this means when our cube is collect with some object uh, that we have gave it uh, it will convert uh, give the cubes five rows to each row and the second thing uh, third thing is sorry the third thing is a cube pivot distance this is the distance when uh, our cube is collide something uh, it will give the ex uh, explorer uh, sorry it will give the uh, pivot distance uh, from uh, one another the second thing uh, third, fourth thing is vector 3 q pivots now uh, we should move to the explosion force first uh, is the explosion force that is we have given it to 50 by default and the second is explosion radius uh, it means when our box is collider uh, with the player or other things it will create a explosion radius of 4 the third thing in this is explorer upward this means when our cube or 3d object is collide with other thing it will explorer upward in 0.4 height and in start i am using a simple uh, calculate pivot distance this is the simple uh, distance that we have calculated by using this simple formula this is a uh, cube pivot distance equals to cube size multiply by cube rows and divide by 2 and in next we use the uh, value to create pivot vector pivot vector is basically the vector when our cube collides something it will give the distance in x y and z direction using vector 3 in update method uh, this is the empty the second is the on trigger enter function that we have uh, created make sure that you have tick the on trigger function in box collider so it will work otherwise it, if you cannot check mark on trigger enter it will not work and i am using a simple uh, if our cube is collide with floor it will then it will call the function of exployer you can give any other name that you want to uh, use this script the in explorer uh, i am simple using the method uh, game object dot set active false when our cube is collide with our floor it will set active is false it means that it will uh, hide from our scene and i am using a simple loop to create the explorer uh, effect uh, in pieces in x y and z coordinates simply uh, i am using a int x equal to 0 and x is less than cube int row that we have gives uh, in start the rows and increase the um, x value third, uh, the second is for y uh, and the third is for x in the same way so we have to create pieces x y and z direction and then get explorer position the explorer position is the position where our uh, cube is collide with the floor it will uh, create a uh, give the explorer position from that location the third is the uh, get collide in the position and radius it means when our collider uh, collide it will implement the physics dot over lap sphere in which we have give the explorer position and explorer radius and add explorer force to all collider in the uh, in that over lap sphere it means when our uh, cube is collide with the floor it will add the force in the floor uh, in the cube that we have created when our uh, cube is collide with the floor i am using a simple for each for this uh, loop for this collider hits in colliders and get the component of read body of each collider and if read body not equals to null 
uh, then we should add the explosion force by giving the uh, uh, by get the rb dot add explosion force with the simple explosion force transform the position where our uh, object collide with the floor and explosion radius and explosion explosion upward this i explosion upward is already i have described for you and uh, third is the uh, pieces where we create our x y and z coordinates to create the permittive dive of game objects simply uh, game object pieces equals to uh, game object dot create permittive type permittive uh, and in it uh, we should i should give the permittive type dot cube so uh, it will create the uh, different cube pieces for our object and set pieces position and scale this is the uh, position where our uh, object is collide with the floor and it will create the pieces of our cube and give the scale or in x y and z coordinate with and minus the cube pivots and the second line i am give the scale uh, so uh, i am use simple pieces dot transform dot local scale equals to new vector 3 cube size in x y and z coordinates then add the component rigid body and set masses so uh, simply i am use the pieces dot add component rigid body and in second line i am give the mass to each cube that we have created for the name of pieces as a game object so pieces dot uh, get component rigid body dot mass equals to cube size this is the uh, script that i have created already uh, if you have any confusion you can ask me a question in comment i will give you the for the detail of this now uh, save it and simply add this uh, exposure uh, script to our cube so it looks like you can change any value in the inspector of this make sure uh, that you have give the name of floor or you can change the name of game object in the script and uh, the in box collider that is attached with a floor make sure that is triggered now let's play and see it works or not now you see that it will create a small pieces of the cube so uh, we can uh, give a little bit close our camera so uh, it can give us more uh, size of it or you can increase the size of our or you can increase the size of uh, cubes when it collide with the floor now you see that it will i am i give the size of cube maybe uh, 5 i think and uh, increase the mass of our cube now let's see it works or not now you see that it will looks perfect but the size of our cube is maybe a little small so uh, i can increase the size of the cube maybe one let's see you can increase the mass of object now you see that the cube size is increased and we should also increase the uh, explorer upward maybe 0.8 and explorer force is 100 uh, radius maybe we can increase to 10 
you can use this as you need according to your now this is the simple script this is a simple uh, script you can use this script in your project and make a perfect game of 3d yes i think we should use radius upward maybe 5 and an explosion force equals to 500 and 7 cube size we should give the 5 you can check this with use of your need now let's see it wow this is the best i have seen we should increase the size of cube and uh, 5 and upward uh, maybe 10 wow you look there this is the perfect for our scene uh, i can rotate the camera so it can give the effect more perfect or we can move our camera a little bit up and backward Let's see it. Now you see that this is the perfect for this explosion. You can use any gradient or any type of material in this initiated, initialized uh, object and use it in your project. If you like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video if you have any uh, question uh, regarding to this you can leave the comment i will give you the detail of everything